Hey guys, it's me again, Barry with Barry's 8-Track and Classic Car Radio up here in some really strange lighting. Today we're demonstrating, yes, another Pioneer Centrix um, HR65, no, 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 RH65 probably. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, just I think I just did a video on one of these yesterday and I don't remember the model number. Okay, interesting, I, I can go years without seeing one of these and then two or three come in in a row. So let's go ahead and uh, test her out and make sure she's ready to go to the back to the customer. Got some Neil Sedaka going on here. That's an interesting way to end the song. Okay, automatic track change. There we go. Make sure we got both speakers working. Switch tracks a bunch of times. Okay, don't need that anymore. Just in case you can't see this track indicators lighting up. We'll try another tape. We'll try some Herb Albert, who I'm going to see in about 19 days. You guys are probably tired of hearing me brag about that. Okay. Okay, check the end of tape stop. Okay, we stopped at the end of a tape. When we had it set to all. Reset the machine, put the tape back in. All right, we'll try Neil one more time. Okay, try fast forward, which I don't recommend using on an eight-track tape. Pause. Okay, check out our Dolby highs reduction. And that's it. There's not a whole lot to test on a uh, on this type of unit. It's not a conversion. We don't have to deal with virtual balance and faders and stuff like that. So she's ready to go back, and I'm ready to probably take the rest of the day off. It's a Friday, uh, about 4:35 o'clock. So it's about time to get on out of here. I'm Barry with Barry's A Track and Classic Car Radio up here, and you've just seen the results of my work. Uh, my website's in the description below. My phone number for paying repair work only is 928-533-9666. Thanks so much for watching and listening, and we'll see you guys next time.